Hi everybody, so this is video number two, SIBO explained. So please watch video number one first, I will post the link in the description. And then watch uh, all the videos in proper order, okay? So I will explain about SIBO and bloating and uh, why is this happening and what to do to prevent this, okay? So what is SIBO? Uh, SIBO is a small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, but normally in the small intestine there should be less bacteria than in the colon. So normally in the small, small intestine, there should be um, uh, 1 million colony forming units, which is uh, species. Just remember this, 1 million, but in the colon, we have 100 trillion bacteria. Okay, so because uh, they, they, we should have in the colon more of the bacteria, okay? But in the mouth, we have 6 billion bacteria. So remember these numbers. In the small intestine, there is the least number of bacteria um, living, okay? It's just one million. So, um, in the small intestine, because there is more oxygen there, uh, there are more of the aerobic bacteria, but in the colon it's less oxygen, and uh, um, there are living anaerobic bacteria, more of the anaerobic bacteria. Uh, also in the small intestine, it's more um, moisture and there is more um, food coming. So, um, uh, so we know that um, there should be more bacteria growing, but there isn't, and I will explain why. Okay, so is it, it's wi widely acceptable and uh, scientifically proven that um, the SIBO is created by a, a bowel stagnation. So the bowel is moving more slowly okay so we need to ask ourselves why is this happening it's uh, so it's not just like taking taking laxatives or prokinetics to to trigger the bowel movement and we think we have solved the problem no we need to ask ourselves why our bowels are uh, moving slowly so when we go to doctor doctors don't answer this question they just prescribe the medications and give you uh, laxatives and uh, uh, some uh, prokinetics to empty your bowel quickly, quicker. Because we know it's not good to have this stagnation because of the toxins and uh, they will be reabsorbed and it's, uh, we can uh, become more toxic. Who here has uh, taken, taken um, just laxatives and prokinetics? Just let me know and how was it working for you? And are you still taking it? I want to know, just comment below. Uh, and uh, are you still taking these uh, prokinetics and uh, on a daily basis or uh, maybe from time to time? And is it helping you? Then um, the first question is, we need to ask ourselves, what is overgrowing actually in the small intestine? So is it the, the natural uh, um, living bacteria which are aerobic bacteria overgrowing or are a, uh, not natural bacteria which shouldn't be there uh, are overgrowing and from where did they come from right so we need to ask all these questions and to find out uh, the answers okay and um, uh, so you need to understand that what we need to uh, understand what are the protective uh, uh, layers that protects us from allowing these bacteria to overgrow. So what are the natural barriers and how are they functioning to uh, prohibit uh, overgrowth of the bacteria in the small intestines, which naturally should be happening. And uh, the thing is that SIBO is, um, it has been shown that it's not specific to only some kind of uh, one type of person. It's, it can happen to any um, gender, it can happen at any age. So it's not specific, so it can happen. So we need to understand the reasons behind the root cause, why is this happening? So in order to understand this, we need to understand what are the protective layers that prohibits the uh, bacteria to overgrowth in the small intestine, which I will explain in my next video. So stay tuned and please like, comment and share if you 
uh, or somebody your family and friends have uh, you know that they have this kind of issues and they need to understand the root cause of why is this happening so stay tuned see you in the next video bye